So I'm standing here in front of the Griffin Memorial Hospital. It was originally built in the late 1800s. It started off as a school for women, but because it's competition against OU, it was sold to the Oklahoma Sanitarian Company in 1895. From here, it became a mental health clinic. In 1899, David W. Griffin was hired into the facilities as a psychiatrist. In 1902, he was promoted to the superintendent of the facilities, which he stayed in that position until the 1950s. In 1915, the facility got renamed to the Central State Hospital. It stayed that name until 1953, whenever it was finally renamed the Griffin Memorial Hospital. During its early years, its number of patients continued growing into its peak in the 1950s, where as many as 3,000 patients would be checked in here. Unfortunately, during this era of the 1950s, this facility, like many other insane asylums, were known for their awful conditions. The patients here often received ill treatment and punishment that was not necessarily adapt to what they were going through mentally. After the 1950s, its number of patients began to dwindle until the 1990s when only 245 patients remained. This decrease of patients continues until today where now this facility can only support up to 120 patients at one time. Beginning in the 1990s, they began closing down certain parts of the hospital as they were no longer needed for the dwindling patient population. Because it's really hard to just demolish an abandoned building. These buildings still stand today and trespassers often get into them at night. It's such an issue to the point that they actually have to keep a security guard out here at night. And all the doors are boarded shut or replaced with heavy metal doors that cannot be simply opened by means of force. Many of the ground floor windows have been broken in and are now replaced by plywood. And like many other abandoned structures, this one has a bit of a reputation be for being haunted, but for good reason. In 1918, a fire broke out in one of the wards and ended up killing 40 people. Because of this mass fire and large number of people that die here, it has led to believe that this hospital is actually haunted. Another interesting fact is instead of burying each individual body. They actually dug a mass grave and put all the bodies there. The whereabouts of this mass grave were not known until 2014, whenever an investigation used reports to find the area of the mass grave. Aside from the history of this hospital, this place is actually a really nice place to walk around. This area is actually a really nice area. It's right across from a shopping plaza, which is really interesting because it's quite a dynamic contrast to be over here where there's literally no one except for the occasional facility vehicle driving by. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to start doing more stuff like this as I really enjoy just getting to know places that most people don't know about. So if you like this, just make sure you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.